Hey, Newman Mike. Do you know what a Mr. Bungle is? Why, no. A Mr. Bungle is somebody who has terrible manners. You know what time it is right now? Oh, yeah, it's time for my next break. Mm-hmm. It's time for the film about having bad manners. Miss Brown said it was time for the children who ate in the cafeteria to go to lunch. She hoped there weren't any Mr. Bungles in this room. <laughs> Phil almost walked past the boys' room, but he stopped and thought. Were his hands clean? No, they were a little dirty. Phil remembered that Mr. Bungle didn't wash his hands. Mr. Bungle's hair was messy, too. Phil didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle. Inside the boys' room, Phil was surprised to see some of his friends washing their hands, too. Phil washed his hands well, with lots of soap. Then he rinsed the soap off. Phil dried his hands well, too. When he was finished, he threw the paper towel in the basket where it belonged. And then he made sure that his hair looked neat. <laughs> now, Phil and his friends were ready for lunch. There was a line of children waiting to get into the lunchroom when Phil got there. He saw some boys he knew at the front of the line. They waved for him to go up to the front with them. But Phil didn't want to break into line as Mr. Bungle did. So Phil went to the end. That was the fair thing to do. He put his knife, fork, and spoon neatly on the tray. And then he slid his tray along. He always enjoyed looking at the good food in the cafeteria. It tasted good and was good for him, too. Instead of having a sandwich today, Phil decided to take the hot lunch. Phil took some bread and butter, too. And he knew what else he wanted, milk. But Alice took the last carton on the tray. Maybe there was more milk. So he said, may I please have some milk? Phil remembered to say, may I, and please. That was very polite. Yes, there was more milk. Phil remembered to say, thank you, when he took the carton of milk. Phil had good manners. He didn't want to be like Mr. Bungle in the lunchroom. Phil didn't want to forget his dessert. The cake looked delicious. At the end of the line, the lunchroom supervisor said she had noticed how polite Phil was, and she smiled at him. She wouldn't smile at a Mr. Bungle. <laughs> Phil went to the table where his friends were. He put his tray down carefully, pulled out his chair quietly, and sat down. He knew his friends wouldn't like a noisy Mr. Bungle at their table. <laughs> there was someone Phil liked, Freddy. Phil noticed how straight and tall Freddy usually sat. Freddy kept his feet on the floor, too. <laughs> Phil would rather be like Freddy than like Mr. Bungle. Another polite person everyone liked was Alice. For example, when Alice sneezed, she covered her mouth and nose. This protected her friends at the table from any germs. While Phil and his friends ate, a boy ran past their table. You shouldn't run in the lunchroom. Only Mr. Bungle would do that. <laughs> Phil and his friends wouldn't like to have a Mr. Bungle at their table. Then lunchtime wouldn't be as much fun as it is. Gotta pick it up, piece of cake, or what? 